Hello dears, Ola here. Today I'm going to show you how to alter a simple wooden vase and uh, to turn it uh, to a beautiful home decoration using mixed media techniques. First I'm covering the base with a Prima black gesso. After drying I'm adding the texture using stencil and white sand paste by Prima. It's pretty challenging to apply the paste on a round surface. My advice is uh, to work on small areas. Uh, just apply the paste, uh, dry it and uh, move to the next area. One more important thing, when you use any texture paste, you have to choose a big patterned stencil. It took a really long time to dry this paste, so on the next side of the vase I decided to work with a different texture paste. It's a stone effect paste, limestone. After drying, both of these pastes uh, look pretty the same, but uh, limestone paste you can dry uh, really quick. Another way to create a texture is uh, to use a cheaper die cuts. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm spraying on it uh, water to make it more flexible. To glue it I'm using soft gloss gel by Fina Bear. Uh, this uh, gel is uh, fluid and very sticky. So it's uh, really easy to glue with it on a flat surface. The next way for creating a texture is uh, to add a pieces of a cotton crochet. To glue them I also using a soft gloss gel. Now I'm going to add more textures using Prima Stone Effect Pastes. I'm applying uh, this paste randomly and uh, mixing them directly on the surface. After drying, I'm adding the last texture here. It's a crackle effect paste. If you don't have enough time to let it dry in the air, you have to keep on a thin layer of this paste. And then you can dry it with your heat tool, but uh, be careful not to burn it. I dried it with a heat tool and I can see a nice crackles. In order to get a smooth background before painting, I'm covering the entire vase with a white gesso. 
but I'm not covering the areas with a crackle paste. As you see, I left some low points in the background, not cover it with a white gesso. I did it to make to the paint later look darker in these areas. Now I'm showing you what elements you can use to decorate this kind of project. Uh, you can use uh, different uh, chipper die cuts, Prima Mechanicals, uh, jewelry making elements like uh, connectors or chains, buttons, uh, paper clay elements. Uh, all this you can use to decorate your project and of course you can use the uh, flowers. I love Prima flowers. Now I begin to build the composition on the vase. To glue all the elements I'm using Prima 3D Matte Gel.
all the elements are glued and I dry them a little bit with a heat tool and now I'm covering all these elements with a clear gesso. If you don't need uh, to change completely the elements color, you can work with a clear gesso and not with a white. Uh, because it's really more easy to work with a clear gesso. Uh, you can keep only on a thin layer, it's enough. And the uh, clear gesso is uh, much more fluid than white. After drying, it's time to paint the project. I'm going to use uh, here Prima Art Alchemy Empesto Metallic and Sparks paints and I'm going to combine the purple and gold colors. I begin from covering the entire vase with uh, Art Alchemy Empesto paint. I decided to start with impasto paint because I need a pretty big amount to cover all the surface. And this opaque and the matte finish paint can be a great base before metallic paints. Now I'm using Color Bloom uh, Purple Mist just to add the color between the 3D elements uh, because uh, to do it with acrylic paint it's a little bit difficult now I'm going to color all the 3D elements with uh, metallic paints I think that the uh, crocus field color is uh, too light, so I decided to use uh, first uh, the dark velvet paint. And when you color flowers, just make sure uh, to add uh, the paint also between all the petals. And I continue to paint also the background. After drying, I'm adding the second uh, purple color, it's uh, Crocus Fields. This color is uh, more light uh, than previous, so I'm a little bit uh, highlighting the elements and the background texture. Now I'm using a color bloom mist uh, a really dark tone to add a little bit shading between the elements and 
also to the background. It's time to show up all the elements and the texture. To do it, I'm using a gold color of Art Alchemy metallic acrylic paint. I'm working here with a dry brush technique. It means that my brush is soft and dry and I'm applying really soft amount of the paint. I'm only highlighting the elements and the texture. Uh, to give it a more shiny look, I'm uh, highlighting all the elements and the background, also with the Sparks gold color acrylic paint. I believe you can see the difference between uh, both of these gold colors. The Sparks Dragon's Eye color is uh, much more shiny. And the final touch, I'm going to add a few gems and uh, crystals to the project. Uh, that's it. I hope you liked 
this tutorial. If you have any questions about the process or materials, you're welcome to ask me. The whole supplies list you will find on Prima blog. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next tutorial. Bye!